Well, the season of giving is upon us, and many people will be opening their wallets to help others. Yeah, and while wanting to do good, they may be opening themselves up to scams. Our Felicia Michelle is in the newsroom with what to look out for while you're doing good for others. Felicia? That's right, Melissa, Terry. It's truly a shame we have to face this harsh reality, but scammers will use this time of year filled with cheer and charity to target those with big hearts. Tis the season for scamming. While our hearts and minds are with loved ones, as well as those needing more love and resources during the holiday season, scammers' minds are on our wallets. I spoke with Rick Waltz, president of the local Northern Indiana BBB, about the potential for scammers during the season, especially with so many traumatic events happening stateside and worldwide that people would like to help with. Don't make an emotional plea and really, really prey on your emotions to try to encourage you to give on the spot. Again, avoid that urge. That charity is going to be there uh, an hour from now and two days from now. Go online and check them out to verify that they are a legitimate charity before you agree to give anything. The landscape of charity and donating has changed as well, with many struggling to make ends meet even for themselves. Thomas Tig from the organization Direct Relief, a major nonprofit that services all 50 states, notes that real charities aren't just out for your money. He says with the reach of social media, an informed advocate for a nonprofit can be just as beneficial for their mission. People just ought not to feel bad if, about their financial circumstances, that they can't contribute. They can. They can contribute their views and their knowledge and their involvement with the cause. And that's golden for any nonprofit to have people like that who really care about, know about, and want to offer their kind of endorsement to, to people who know them. Here are a few resources to check if a charity that you're interested in donating to is legitimate. You can visit these websites, charitynavigator.org, charitywatch.org, or bbb.org. Learn more. Again, if you want to learn more about Direct Relief, visit them at their website, directrelief.org. And if you suspect a potential charity is a scam, report them to your local BBB. All right, some good information tonight. Felicia, thank you for that. Well, a four